Hey, good morning YouTube. This is Antum Ray coming at you guys with a new video and yet another topic. Um, this is a topic I know it's been beaten to death on YouTube, but uh, during this corona uh, pandemic, there are a lot of new gun owners out there. and I think this is still a very important subject and very rele relevant, and it is gun safety. So let's get into it. We're just going to talk about the four rules of gun safety, and I have a little bonus one that I created myself. All right, so uh, number one is going to be treat all guns as if they are loaded. Cannot stress that enough. I don't care if you think you do not have one in the chamber. I don't care if you know you think it's unloaded. Uh, before you put your finger on the trigger to try any type of dry fire um, tools in the house, uh, first and foremost, you want to pick the gun up uh, and have, you know, Trigger discipline. Um, know your backdrop and point it in the right direction. And what I usually do is I'm going to drop the mag first and then I'm going to look into the gun. And sometimes I'll make sure I'm in a light, put your finger in there, and then I'll pull the trigger for a dry fire in a safe direction if I'm trying to do it, you know, a dry fire. All right, so again, treat the gun as if, as if it's loaded. Um, this one rule right here can save your life and other people's lives as well. All right, uh, the next one is very important as well. Uh, never let the muzzle cover anything that you are not willing to destroy. Um, <laughs> your dog, your loved one, your wife, your kids, or other loved ones, or an innocent bystander. So, you know, muzzle discipline is very, very important. So do not point the muzzle at something that you are not willing to destroy. Again, this is another one of those um, safety rules that can actually save a life or save your life. <laughs> you don't want to point it at yourself either, but point it in a, a safe direction at all times. Um, you know, get in the habit, do drills, whatever you have to do, but you want to stay safe and keep the gun point it at something that you do not want to destroy or anything that could ricochet and come back and destroy you. Uh, you know, so you don't want to point it at, you know, concrete ground or anything like that. So be safe. Be careful where you point your gun. All right. So, uh, number three, um, it's another one that, you know, basically they all correlate and tie right into each other. But number three is going to be, uh, you know, finger discipline, keeping your finger off the trigger until you are actually ready to shoot you know sometimes you'll see youtube videos of guys that you know jawing off and they have their finger on the trigger um you know while they're doing it you know i've been guilty of breaking some um you know rules of safety gun safety as well but i try my best because i understand uh how important it is to follow these rules but trigger discipline is very 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 important um, to do, you know, you do not want to put your finger on the trigger until you actually have your sights lined up on the target that you actually want to shoot. Okay. It's really that simple. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. All right. Number four, know what's behind you, which means knowing your backstop. Um, you don't want to be shooting in a flat open cornfield. <laughs> Just because you can see into the day doesn't mean you should shoot in you. Basically, want to shoot in something that has a decent backdrop, namely a hill. You know, if you have a hill, you have a range that actually goes up in elevation, and you have a hill to shoot at it. That's an excellent uh, backdrop. But know what you're shooting at. Know what's behind what you're shooting at. If you're shooting in the woods, you better know what's behind those woods because there's a lawyer behind any bullet. You can shoot someone that's hiking in the woods. Um, you can shoot, you know, just an innocent person. Uh, so you have to be very, very, very careful. But a lot of these rules kind of tie into the, each other. You know, for instance, if you make a mistake and put your finger on the trigger and have a negligent discharge, but you actually have the gun pointed in the right direction, uh, one rule of uh, safety may save you. And it can go to, you know, vice versa. If you point the gun, accidentally point the gun in the wrong direction, but you don't have your finger on, on the trigger, you know, it could still possibly, you know, save a life. So some of these, um, like I said, they all tie into each other, safety, but you want to be safe. This is the basic fundamentals of actually handling a uh, firearm and knowing what's behind, you know, you, what you're shooting kind of ties into, you know, you know, not pointing your muzzle at something you don't want to destroy. So if you're shooting, um, you know, at a back, you know, something that doesn't have a definite backstop, 
you can be shooting inadvertently at something you do not want to destroy and end up, you know, killing an innocent person. So that's uh, another rule of safety that you just want to uh, have fundamentals in these. Practice this, preach this, in everything. That's the first thing you should worry about when you pull, you know, pick up a firearm. Learn your way around your firearm. That way you can have discipline when it comes to safety. Now I'm going to add a, another one. We went over the uh, very four, but I'm going to add another one. And this is one is when you're in a public place shooting with other uh, people, watch for others. Uh, if you see someone that's doing something that is not safe, um, either tell them what they're doing uh, or go to the actual warden and say, hey, you know, you don't like, you know, what you're seeing, you know, because that's your life. You know, if a person's doing something foolish at the gun range, um, they can put you in jeopardy and, you know, doing something negligent and get you, uh, you know, seriously uh, harmed. And another thing I want to add to that, if you guys do go to public ranges and you happen to have some, you know, decent uh, body armor, uh, any kind of, you know, flak jacket or armor, that would be a great place to actually wear it. You know, that extra protection if someone has a next, you know, negligent discharge and, you know, God forbid having to shoot you and, you know, hit your, uh, you know, your flak jacket, you may have an opportunity, uh, you know, not to get hurt as bad. So if you have any kind of, you know, body armor and you're going into a public shooting range that may be a great place uh to actually wear it and you should think about actually employing that into you know your you know every time routine when you go to the range to be a body armor wear it there you know just in case because you know you got a lot of untrained people that are coming in and out of range and you have to watch you know not only for yourself as far as safety but you actually have to watch out for them okay but that's pretty much all I have. I don't want to go on a long rant about it. I know this is another subject that has been talked about, but I think it's truly important because this is the fundamental of actually firing a firearm is safety. That is the cornerstone of actually handle, handling a firearm is safety. If you're not safe, um, please do not pick up a gun. Um, I just want to say uh, before I go out of this uh, video, uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed. Have a great day.